I think a lot of times when we talk about mothers, we when we think about mothers, we don't ne necessarily give them all of the recognition that they deserve for the wonderful job that they do. I mean, 365 days a year isn't enough to give them all of the recognition for, for the things that they do. Uh, and also, when I think about mothers, not just mothers, grandmothers, great-grandmothers, aunts, uncles, sisters, brothers, everybody that plays the role of mothers at some point, sometime in their life. Uh, I've got my younger sister here who sometimes thinks she's my mother. But I just want to say thank you, everyone, for mothers all over. Uh, and also, please pray for my mother, who is not feeling well today. Um, so this poem was written for my mother, but I'm sure a lot of you mothers uh, and, and children will uh, relate to some of this stuff that I've written in my actual poem. So this poem is entitled, Mama. Moms are quite unique, very insightful with experience enough about plenty to speak. If you have a mom, I suggest her wisdom you seek. Moms are compassionate, loving, stern, and humorous. They're a jack of all trades. And for the large variety of jobs they do, they never get paid. <laughs> Cooks, housewives, teachers, counselors, cheerleaders, bankers, referees. When you slip and fall, they're the nurse to kiss and pat your knee. Moms are quite different. They are really a rare breed with teachings and expectations of you that you'll always succeed. Moms are like elephants, and that's legit. They have a memory that will never, ever let them forget. You know, it may be hours, days, and weeks for them to punish you as they said they would. You can best believe what mom says it. Her word is good. <laughs> when moms talk to you, they leave you in no doubt. I remember my mom saying to me, and some of you guys may have heard this, I brought you in, and I will take you out. <laughs> you know, as you start to cry, they become very compassionate. Mom quickly advises. You better be quiet before I give you something to cry about, which immediately causes a crying drought. Here's one thing that rings true. You know, as we hit puberty and start to smell our own pee, you know what I'm talking about. Moms, to a tolerable degree, inform you, no matter how old you think you may get, you'll never be as old as me. Mom has awakened you with words like a slap in the face. She has helped to put you back in your place. Moms can be like Dr. Jekyll and Mrs. Hyde. Mm -hmm. Don't mess around and get on their bad sides, because there's not a place safe enough for you to hide. But with all of our faults, the love she has for us is bona fide. And I need someone in here to testify. Yeah. 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 like candy bar, 100,000 grand. No matter how trivial your accomplishment, she's the first to stand and give you a hand. Mm -hmm. Applaud and saying, that's my baby, yes, that is my baby. <laughs> Who else can take meager items from a kitchen shelf and 20 minutes later have outdone themselves mm -hmm. by cooking a meal as delectable as Emerald the chef? Right. They feed, clothe, and board us all for free. Well, there may be a subtle fee. With their good intentions, yes, indeed, they want you to be the best that you can be. Moms give a 100% guarantee they give their love to you unconditionally. That's right. Through the years, moms have cried, guided, and provided through and through, and has always been there for us to turn to. So, we'll take the good with the bad. After all the things us kids have put your moms through, let me say, hats off to you. There's not one thing we change about you. And we love you. Amen. 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 Amen.